He created us with diversity, different nations, different tribes, different colors. But it is arrogance. It is arrogance to say that one tribe is superior to the other. Because my skin is this color and your skin is that color. That I was born superior. I have a birthright of superiority. The Lord God created me to be superior. That rubbish is what is there in Jerusalem now. That rubbish has to be washed away. Thank you. Uh, sljedeće pitanje da li će doći do izgradnje trećeg hrama uh, will the third temple be constructed the Quran has spoken on this subject uh, in a chapter of surah entitled the Israelite people chapter number 17 and it speaks of the Israelite people committing wickedness committing wickedness in the land meaning the Holy Land on two occasions facade is that which corrupts to the extent that it can destroy facade mm. The Quran says that the Lord God gave the Holy Land to them, the Israelite people. The Quran says that the Lord God gave the Holy Land to the Israelite people. How come the New York Times doesn't publish that on front page? Huh? How come CNN doesn't say that every single day, morning, noon and night, that the Quran says? that the Lord God gave the Holy Land to the Israelite people. It's there in the Quran. The reason why they would not say it is because the land was not given to them unconditionally. That's why. There were conditions attached to the grant of the land and they know that. And every time they violated the condition, the Lord God threw them out. This land is yours on the condition that you have faith in the Lord God and you are righteous in conduct. And to declare that you are the chosen people and the rest of mankind are like cockroaches, that's arrogance. That's not righteousness. And so the first time they were wicked in their conduct and the Lord God threw them out. And they were taken to Babylon. But then he allowed them to come back. And the second time around, again they were wicked in their conduct. And they acknowledge, they acknowledge this. But the second time, when they were expelled from the land, the temple was destroyed. As it was destroyed the first time by the Lord God. But the second time around, when they were expelled, the Quran says, that they were broken up into bits and pieces and scattered all over the world. And then for 2,000 years, there was a ban on them. They could never return. 2,000 years. They could not return. Allah placed a ban on them. 
But then the Quran went on to say that they will be able to return only when Gog and Magog are released. And Gog and Magog have indestructible power. And when they spread out in all directions with their indestructible power and they establish the world order of Gog and Magog, then you will see the Israelite people being brought back to Jerusalem. You'll be brought back to the Holy Land. But what will happen when they come back to the Holy Land? Listen to the words of the Quran. <laughs> it's so few and yet so much in them. Wa in uttum udna. Wa in uttum udna. Two words, that's all. If you return with your wicked conduct when you are in the Holy Land, we will return with our punishment. It will be an act of wickedness to destroy the house of God, the Masjid Al-Aqsa, to rebuild a temple. It will be a, an act of wickedness to deny us the freedom to worship in the house of God. <laughs> so yes, we anticipate that this is what they will try to do. They would say perhaps it's an earthquake and then the masjid will be demolished. But the first time there was just a fire, that's all. A fire in the masjid in 1969, August 1969. A fire in the masjid. And the wall of Islam which had been which had been demoralized with the destruction of the caliphate and broken up into bits and pieces, <coughs> immediately came together in a summit conference in Rabat, in Morocco. Yeah. And then when Arian Sharon went into the masjid with his shoes on, with a thousand Israeli soldiers, with their shoes on, when God had said to Moses, Moses, you are in the Holy Valley, take off your shoes. Take off your shoes. And they went into the masjid with their shoes on. It provoked the intifada. <laughs> it provoked the intifada. So can you imagine? Now that Trump has done what he has done, today there was an Islamic summit conference in Istanbul. So if the Masjid Al-Aqsa is destroyed, ever destroyed, to rebuild the temple, you can imagine what's going to happen in the world of Islam. Yes. Sheikh Imran Hussein, thank you for your friendship. This, that's the most precious thing to me. Thank you for your insights and for your wisdom and for sharing it with the students uh, at the Faculty of Law in Belgrade tonight. Uh, uh, the book is available. Knjiga je ovdje na ovom stočiću. Izvolite, pogledajte i koga zanima možete napaviti. Hvala vam što ste došli večera.